Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS, and today we're going to look at Fly Type 2. <laughs> I'm going to give you a fly on the wall experience. Hello, I hope you're all doing good. Uh, and all that jazz. If you're watching over on Facebook, that's uh, something that you may have to see a chemist about. I don't know. Maybe they can help you. Maybe they won't. Uh, you can always come over here to YouTube at youtube.com slash jadestar or the website at howtoapponios.com or you can watch the show live on the Twitch every day at twitch.tv slash how to app on iOS. Uh, shall we say hello to people who are here already in the chat? Hello to Audible video, hello to Russ, hello to I have an idea, hello to Tom, Rochelle and Scott, to moderators here, uh, hello to SN Borthwick, um, who else is here, GB Craw, um, hello LED, good to see you too, I hope everyone's doing well and all that jazz. There's really not a lot to look at. Hello, Jim Shannon Sounds 2. Wait for uh, everyone's just crawling in over from Pete's stream. I really enjoyed watching Pete's stream. I really love prediction shows because, yeah, we got the Apple event tomorrow. I'm going to be staying up because it's on at 3 a.m. here in the morning. I don't really give a shit what Apple are releasing this year. Couldn't give two tosses. Um, there's going to be an iPad Pro. That's about it. Uh, um, it's all I'm willing to bank on. But what I will tell you is iOS 14.5 will be released either at the end of the show or the day after because it has, uh, so it's in 14.8 uh, beta and it looks like um, everything's fine in it. Um, so I would say it's going to be released tomorrow. The, that's what the word is from somebody who I know. Um, anyway. So that's really cool. Hopefully they sort out all the effing bugs. <sighs> Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. I mean, as you know, my hatred of iOS 14, I waited actually like um, four months before I actually installed it because of the issues that it, it always has. And even then I, I installed it New Year's Day, I think. And we're, we're up to 14.4.2 and there's still these issues with uh, uh, AUV3 plugins vanishing and a whole lot of stuff. So who knows? I mean, uh, this is kind of for a beta in this late stage of the game for iOS 14 to be still getting a beta 0.8. It's pretty telling that um, Apple uh, have no fucking idea what they're doing, really. Um, hello to Pete Johns. <laughs> Good to see you, and Ed B, hello to you. Is there anyone else I have missed? I think I said hi to Jim. Yes. I said hello to Cy. Alrighty. So, look, uh, I'm pretty sure there aren't any uh, app updates or anything like that. I can do the song. We can do it. Let's pick this one today. It's time to look at... The latest iOS updates, they're coming today. See, nothing's really changed. Uh, hello to Dr. Zordes. See, Doc, oh. Dr. Zorders even gets his own theme music now. How cool is that? <laughs> but yeah, look, the same stuff that was here yesterday when we did the show. So multi-track by Four Pockets. I t can tell you what, there is a Four Pockets app coming out really soon, which is really cool. Um, so if you haven't seen that, um, it's, it's a competitor to the Atom 2 uh, piano roll. So um, head over to Paul the Musician. Um, I don't know if I can, I can probably show you a little bit of it because Paul dumped a uh, video on it this week. Let's see, uh, 
Paul, uh, Paul the Music Man. So Paul's about to drop this brand new app. I'll play a little bit of it here. This is, I think it's coming out this week. Hello and welcome to Look at another that. exciting new video uh, for another new product from Four Pockets. This is going to be that sick. that is Helium MIDI Sequencer. Now this MIDI sequencer is really so, um, designed for working within something like AUM. Uh, which Look at that fancy thing! Really cool! Well, we already have the fantastic Atom, which really excels at looping. So, uh, Atom 2 is already dead in the water. Tracks I, I suspect. Instance, and four ports, uh, there you go. So you can head over and watch that video. It's really cool. It's a MIDI sequencer. Uh, 16, uh, 16 tracks, 16 channels. It looks really, really cool. And uh, Scott says, no idea how many... How, no, no idea how so many solid and full featured app add the developer so quickly. Yeah, I don't know how Paul does it as well. Uh, was is Doug here? Did someone say Doug was here? I can't see him. Oh, my vision's bad. Oh, there he is. There's Doug. Hang on, let me look off into the distance. There he goes. Oh, he's dancing. Hi, Doug. Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. I better give Doug a kiss. <laughs> uh, don't tell Joe. All right, good to see you, Doug. Um, all right, so what are we looking at today? We are looking at fly tape. This is fly tape. Fly tape's really cool. We're gonna mess around with a little bit today. Hello, William Johnson. Welcome to the show as well. So this is fly tape. It's uh, what's really cool about fly tape is you can do stuff with it on the fly. <laughs> Yes, you can do things on the fly, and we're going to do that today using some vocals, some live vocals and stuff, and reverse them and mess around with them. So um, the price of Fly Tape 2, I do believe, is five ninety nine US. I think that's right, at about five ninety nine British pounds. I think that's correct. We can double check. I should really do that before the show, shouldn't I? But uh, you know me. Uh, I'm too busy watching Pete Johns' show before mine instead of getting my show ready so there's fly tape yeah five dollars 99 it's really cool uh, you're gonna see how cool it is it's a really um, nice weapon to have in your arsenal to do some really fancy stuff I love what it does with vocals you know how excited I get with uh, vocal stuff because I happen to be a vocalist <laughs> because I'm your man uh, anyway Let's jump in and have a look. So uh, the way I'm going to be looking at it today is I have some tracks in AUM. I pre-prepared this earlier for you guys. And um, there's a brand new app that's come out too, which uh, Doug did a show on today. If you haven't seen it, head over to the Sound Test Room and check it out, which is Pure Piano. This is Pure Piano. Here it is right here. And I'm, I'm going to... Uh, use it today so pure piano i'm going to probably do a show on this this week so we won't go too much into pure piano today but is it a raven's croft killer i think so i think it sounds really really nice and you know what it's about half the price of raven's croft so it could be a raven's croft killer um so we've got two tracks of piano here you've got a track of guitar which I'm going to play live and do some uh, kind of live stuff on the fly with uh, fly tape. Got some vocals. We've got a mic over here, which we'll bring in in a second. And we got just a, a kit here just to play along and mess around with it too. So let's bring in... Hello, Joe. Joe has joined the chat as well. See how in time I've got that kiss effect going? So fancy, fancy, fancy. Oh, God. Oh, just so fancy, so wonderful. Excuse me. Righty, so let's go full screen and check out the, this sucker here. Um, we'll bring in this uh, piano. So how I'm doing this, I've got two Atom 2 uh, projects, which are controlling these two pianos. Um, so we've got one is a pure piano and the other one's Ravenscroft. So we've got two different competing pianos against each other. So uh, let's just start by playing. We'll bring in just the uh, first track of Pure Piano. So again, nothing 
Nothing too complex. And uh, the piano sound I've got selected here is the cinematic. What's really cool So, and what we're going to do is bring in some fly tape here. And this is fly tape. We'll make it nice and big. So, I love the UI. The, the GUI is fantastic. It's really easy to find your way around. Um, so, you've got a hold button here. You can select multiple instances of these effects to run at the same time. So, if you hit the hold button, you could hit your speed, hit reverse, hit lo-fi, do them all at the same time and really mess up the sound. You've got a speed, saturation, mute, reverse, warble, lo-fi, a handbrake, and a stutter. Because no one's ever seen what I mean by the age of 13. We've all been caught in the mouth trap. So join with us and do this, 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 this sort of rap. Wow, that's a blast from the past. I'm sure many English people remember that song from the, uh, was that the 80s? Damn. Right. So, off the bat, I can hit hold on here and select the speed button in straight away, real time, half time. How cool is that? So you've got a selection of uh, options here. So a quarter. Really slow that sucker down. You can mix the sound as well. So you've got a mix button here. So if we go to half here. You can possibly create some really interesting sounds by doing stuff like that. Because it's a tape, remember, you've normally got a noise kind of sound, right? And there's no exception here. So we have uh, this little uh, noise just to bring in some tape noise. Hi, Ian Tyndale. Ian Tyndale says, the crowd got angry and this one man, he was going to throw a bottle. He was going to chuck a, chuck a, chuck a, chuck a can, chuck a can, chuck a, chuck a, chuck a, chuck a can. <laughs> I get it. Oh, it's a reference to Shaka Khan. All right. So. You've got a stutter button right here on the end. If you like that kind of thing. <laughs> uh, you've got a saturation. So you've got three options here. You've got an amp, a boost, an amp, and a drive. We'll take that noise out. And at any time, you can just mute, because you've got a mute button. That's nice and good, isn't it? Easy. So we'll take that saturation off. This is my favorite, right? Actually, we'll go through the warble first. So, hey, if you're into that chewed up tape kind of sound, which often, all, it, it amazes me. 2021, and we all buy apps that create the sound that we used to dread when we were young as we could hear the tape start to chew in the cassette player, but we all now pay money for that. So you've got a few different versions here. So this is a speed up, slow down. And you've got a page here. So you've got a seven of these. And this reminds me of coming home from a gig, drunk out of my brain, ready to throw, 
throw up everywhere in the back of a cab. So there's a lot of option here. So the other thing, you've got a little bypass to turn that off whenever you want. You can give it a nice mix. I'm glad you could make it too, William. And look, what I, what I really love about this, it's really simple. Like this this app, I mean, you, as you can see, it's super simple. I mean, if, you, if you're struggling to use this, I don't know what to tell you. And as I said, you can have multiple things. So we've still got that warble happening. And now I've clicked over to the lo-fi page and we've got eight lo-fis to choose from let's turn off the warble take out this noise that's really distant So you've got a handbrake as well. So at any time, let's just turn off the lo-fi. You can. And down the bottom, you've got these four different buttons. So you've got a super fast brake. And you've got like a, a rabbit. Then you've got a tortoise and the snail. Really nice. Right, so my favorite now out of all of them is of course the reverse. How cool is that? So I'm interested to check something out because this pure piano has a reverse. So if I move this across, so now if I open fly tape and hit the reverse, will this make it go forward? Kind of half. Interesting. Let's bring in something else, yeah? So I've got another uh, track here of just uh, a Ravenscroft. So what I want to do here is just show you how something really simple can really sound really nice, yeah?
Chuck in some black hole for shits and giggles. Hello, O'Neill and Jones. Welcome to the chat. Hello, Mobile Music Pro. Vortex in the house. The happiest of happiest to you, Vortex. Or as we say on Clubhouse, the G-Man. <laughs> So just by slowing down by half that second layer of Ravenscroft. Nice, yeah. Hello, Sean Chandler. Good to see you in the chat. Welcome aboard, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Shall we bring in some drums? Yeah. Oh, come on, microphone, get your ass together.
There you go, folks. Pretty cool, yeah? Let's pull all that down. We'll stop that. Pretty damn cool. Um, look, <laughs> six bucks, and there's just plenty of fun to be had with it. And, you know, again, I'm just showing you, I'm just dicking around, really. So you can uh, really imagine what you can do with this in a door. You know, it's an AUV3 plug in. You can throw it in anything your garage band, your Cubase, it's all that kind of stuff. You can mess around with it here in AUM. Uh, the only thing uh with it we just uh I'll go over here and find it where is it over here is uh it's only an auv3 plugin so you can't actually use it as a standalone all right so just be aware of that but as you can see when you do open up you get a lovely user manual yes we all love a good user manual and it's uh nice and detailed i don't want a mailing list right now so uh you've got some tutorials and stuff uh, it gives you like the description, the specs. You've got a user manual here, which you can download a PDF. So it's all really cool. Thanks, guys, for uh, hanging out and indulging me in my ridiculous jam there, just making shit up. But, you know, it's it's pretty easy to just make something really fun just with like... <laughs> I mean, that whole thing was based around what? You know, nothing, virtually. So two Atom projects. There you go. That's uh, all that was, that, and this little line here, and that's it. And you can have heaps of fun. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's it for today. It's a fairly short show. We're going to cut it off nice and short and sweet. Remember, folks, we've got a giveaway going at the moment uh, for, what is it? What was the giveaway? Oh, man. You know what? I, you got to go easy on me. I've got a brain injury. Um, oops, I didn't want to do that. I want to go back to it. Am I still online? Hopefully I'm still online. <laughs> Man, I... Yeah, I'm still online. It's all good. I just shut down Restreet. Minth, that's right. Thanks, Tom Rochelle. What would I do without you, Tom Rochelle? So, yeah, Minth. Uh, so make sure you uh, enter that. Uh, tomorrow we'll be drawing the uh, copies of Minth to give away. Uh, so come back tomorrow for that. What I uh, don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I'm tossing up between... Um, the new Clev Grand app or uh, something else. So we'll see how we go. So thanks everybody for hanging out. Good to see you all. Thanks for supporting the channel as always. Remember to hit the like button. Do me a solid on that. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and um, leave a comment if you'd like to win the app. Check out Fly Tape 2 because it's cool bananas. Yeah. All right, everybody. Um, from Pete's home studio i'll say goodbye for you to now goodbye doug for now and i'll see you all tomorrow have a really good one take it easy bye bye